Daimos, the younger brother of Kratos, found himself at the mercy of Ares, the Greek god of war, at a young age. It was a cruel fate that was set in motion to avert a prophecy that foretold the destruction of Mount Olympus. Ares, fearing the potential outcome of this prophecy, took it upon himself to abduct Daimos and keep him hidden away from the world. The abduction of Daimos was a selfish and ruthless act by Ares, who was determined to do whatever it took to protect his own interests. But it was not just the abduction that Daimos had to endure, he was subjected to years of torture at the hands of Thanatos, the god of death, in the domain of death. The young Daimos was thrust into a world of darkness and despair, where he faced unimaginable horrors at the hands of Thanatos. It was a cruel fate for a child to endure, and it left scars that would never fully heal. Ares, in his quest to avoid the prophecy, had condemned his own brother to a life of suffering. It was a selfish and heartless act, driven by fear and the desire for power. Daimos was a pawn in Ares' game, a sacrifice made in the name of self-preservation. But despite the torture and suffering he endured, Daimos never lost his spirit. He remained strong and resilient, refusing to be broken by the cruelty of his captors. It was a testament to his courage and inner strength, a defiance in the face of overwhelming adversity. In the end, it was Kratos who had come to his brother's aid. The ghost of Sparta, fueled by his own rage and thirst for revenge, sought to free Daimos from his torment. It was a journey that would lead Kratos to the very depths of the underworld, where he would face off against Thanatos and ultimately free his brother from his captivity. The reunion between the brothers was a bittersweet moment, filled with both joy and sorrow. Daimos had suffered greatly at the hands of Ares and Thanatos, and the scars of his ordeal would never fully fade. But he was free, and that was all that truly mattered.